Are you one of those people that has had all of your friends say, you need to read Gentle and Lowly by Dane Orland, and you just haven't got around to it? Or maybe you've read this book and you completely love it, and you want to introduce it to your children, or you want to you want to really encourage maybe a friend to read it, but the friend says they don't really have a lot of time, or maybe is a new believer. Well, I have good news for you. Dane Orland has put out a new book, a beautiful book, called The Heart of Jesus, How He Really Feels About You. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. I'm Brian Katherman with SaltyBeliever.com, and this wonderful book is the topic of this video. This book is called The Heart of Jesus, How He Really Feels About You. It's by Dane Ortland. It was published by Crossway in 2024, and it's about 100 and, I don't know, about 108 or so pages. Um, and it, it, it's a beautiful, easy, wonderful little read in which you can kind of work through, marinate on what's there, and kind of chew on it and think about it deeply. But to understand this little book, The Heart of Jesus, I think we need to sort of work backwards a little bit. Because if you go to the introduction of this book, uh, Dane Ortland says, let me see if I can find it here. He says, um, he says, in 2020, Crossway published a fuller version of this book that you're now holding. It was called Gentle and Lowly, The Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers. The purpose of this concise version of that book is to make the content more readable for a variety of other readers, young people, new believers, or anyone who would like to reflect on Christ's heart in a shorter, more accessible format. Much has been dropped and much has been lightly rewritten with these different audiences in mind. The result of this book is the heart of Jesus. So, so he's taken a bigger book, uh, a little bit fuller book, and he's boiled that down to get you like kind of the, just this great little fantastic book that I would encourage just anybody to read. This is good for anybody. Even if you've read Gentle and Lowly, I've been working my way kind of through this book. My family's going through this book. It is outstanding. But we should probably back up a layer to talk a little bit about this book, which I've talked about this book before. I've recommended it in a variety of channels before, but this is Gentle and Lowly by Dane Orland, The Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers. Man, this is the kind of book you just read slowly. You think about it, you marinate on it, and it just sort of it sort of blesses your soul to work through this book. But, you know, I've been telling people this book is not just, you know, something drawn out of nowhere out of the clouds. Dane Orland himself credits kind of where a lot of the heart of this comes from. And I just want to take a minute, and I just want to talk about that. He says uh, in his introduction on, let's see, where are we at? Page 14, quite a ways down. Um, basically, he says he focused on one particular period of history. It was in the 1600s, kind of the mid-1600s, the age of the Puritans. And then he writes this. This book on Christ's heart would not exist if I had not stumbled upon the Puritans, and especially Thomas Goodwin. It is Goodwin more than anyone who has opened my eyes to who God in Christ is most naturally and easily for fickle sinners. And, and he goes on to how this introduced him to Sibs and Bunyans and some of the other um, Puritan writers, but Goodwin was kind of the anchor for this book. And if you've read Gentle and Lowly, you know that he quotes the Puritans, especially Goodwin, quite a bit. And then he helps bring that more to sort of our context, and he helps us to meditate on, on who Christ is in the heart of Jesus. This, oh my goodness, this is such a good book. And so you just have to know, if you've read this one, that the, that the best, the flame and yawn cut of Gentle and Lowly ended up in the heart of Jesus. This book is just something you should get your hands on. It's new. I would highly encourage you to go out and buy it, and you make it part of your devotional time, or you just you read it for fun and, and, and for your own edification, or maybe you read it with your child. That would be a great way to go, or just work through it. The chapters are short. It's easy. I mean, they're only like one or two uh, pages each. My family's going through it a chapter at a time around the dinner table. I would just highly encourage you to check out The Heart of Jesus, which comes from Gentle and Lowly, which, by the way, I thought it'd be fun to show you, which comes from Goodwin's work. And I just so happen to have two of Thomas Goodwin's books here. Uh, these are put out by the Banner of Truth or Banner of Truth Publishing. And these are the Puritan paperbacks. If you've never done a Puritan paperback, I highly encourage that you do. They are they're reasonably priced. And what Banner of Truth has done is they've gone in and kind of brought some of the language more to our modern vernacular so we can we can read it a little bit easier because some of this stuff was a little bit hard to read with some of the language and verbiage. Very rarely do they change any content at all. Occasionally, there'll be a footnote here and there to explain 
oh, that means this, you know, with something that's kind of uh, disconnected because of time. So this is one of Thomas Goodwin's books uh, put out by Banner of Truth. It's a Puritan paperback. This is Christ Set Forth as the case of justification and as the object of justifying faith. That's Thomas Goodwin, but check this out. I have another one of the Puritan paperbacks by Thomas Goodwin, which, by the way, Thomas Goodwin brought us, you know, gets us to this through Dane Orland, and then Dane Orland brings us to this. And this is one of my favorites of Thomas Goodwin called The Heart of Christ by Thomas Goodwin. Um, it's a Puritan paperback. And interestingly, Dane Orland went with The Heart of Jesus for this little book. So, you know, if you really want to go from this one to to gentle and lowly, and then read the people that, that Dane Orland was reading, then you go and you read something like The Heart of Christ by Thomas Goodwin. If you don't have the time for that, or this is just all new to you, then I want to highly recommend that you check out The Heart of Jesus, How He Really Feels About You by Dane Orland.